Hey guys, All In Crypto here and welcome back ladies and gentlemen for another YouTube video. Happy Wednesday guys, I hope everybody has had a fantastic week so far. Before I start this video, I just wanna say a huge thank you to those of you who are commenting, liking and supporting these videos day in, day out. It means a lot to me. Uh, even though I may not have the opportunity to reply to all of your comments, I do read them all. And I just wanna say I'm absolutely stoked that there are so many people out there that have taken the initiative to invest in the cryptocurrency market, seeing it for what it is, a early technology that is gonna accrue value over time, much the same as the uh, stocks that came out of the internet. And there are quite a few other examples of an emerging technology, emerging market that rewards early adopters um, handsomely so thank you very much guys it's deeply appreciated um you know i hope i am right in where i think cardano is going because i know what that's going to mean for a lot of you out there um not only you guys myself uh, and everybody involved so without further ado guys let's jump straight into this video we're going to be looking at cardano of course lots of interesting things we didn't really talk about this news um cardano ada is finally uh, getting listed in Japan. Now, this is significant, of course, um, because they weren't currently traded over there. It opens Cardano up to a whole um, new market of potential buyers, potential participants in the in, in the government system, the staking system, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but this news is interesting because Japan are one of the most strict uh, countries to allow cryptos to be traded on exchanges in their country. Now, this is really, really positive to me because yesterday, the chairman of the SEC, Gary Gensler, who I actually quite like the guy, I may not like the organization that he represents, but I've listened to a lot of his um, stuff on crypto. He used to teach crypto at MIT um, and very, very well. He, he, his uh, lectures that he gave, they're all on YouTube, um, were very comprehensive. And this guy clearly understands the technology probably more so than anybody else uh, around him in the SEC. So he essentially came out and he mentioned a number of comments in regards to the crypto. I'm going to read these because there's one where they, uh, the SEC could then regulate such platforms if they are uh, advertising an interest rate return on, on a crypto asset. Alternatively, platforms that pull digital assets could be regarded as mutual funds, which would also bring them in to the SEC's purview. That applies directly to Cardano. Now, I think regulations, and we made a video on it, are coming. Um, it's a bullish thing in regards to uh, adoption of crypto and, and, and the monetary value attached to it. Perhaps not for the, the in regards to decentralization and this being a permissionless technology that, you know, governing bodies like the SEC and others are saying you need permission to use. Totally contradictory to, to Satoshi's vision. Um, but you need to pay attention to, to regu regulations and, and what's coming. And, and I think Cardano is going to be fine. They work very closely with regulators uh, across the board in the United States and elsewhere. Um, so I think they're going to be just fine. But this, this is interesting. We are going to read this towards the end of the video. Um, and the fact that Japan, a very strict country for allowing crypto to be traded there on individual projects are on board with this is a kind of merit towards Cardano and, and, and maybe their standing with regulate, regulators in the US. Um, what we're going to do to start off though guys, in yesterday's video we overlaid the 1, 2 and 3 wave onto where we currently are. So the 1 wave going up to the 3 wave and the 2 wave pullback really to highlight that what we are going through right now is literally history repeating itself. And the 5th and final wave of this bull run is setting up exactly like the 3rd wave, the start of the 3rd wave did. You can see we said to you when you sold off down here, look guys what you're going to do is you're going to come back, you're going to sort of caress and, and stay with this EMA before you, the volume then resumes. And I'm really going to be highlighting that to, you, that to you very quickly before we get into some of the news uh, and kind of um, what's going on in the crypto space. So this was of course our 2 wave um, sort of topped out in uh, the, the uh, 26th of July. Going into it, what I'm gonna do, uh, instead of overlaying, overlaying the whole wave, um, we're actually just going to um, overlay this kind of segment here to show you what we think's coming. You know, We've said on a number of occasions, we don't think you're just gonna recover in a 2000 and, uh, uh, 2020 March kind of, because 2020 March was a very, you know, it was a bit of a freak event, uh, you could say. And that's why the market acted in those ways. It's not really a traditional way for markets to act. Um, now you can see that there's a lot of similarities here. In, I mean, you can almost see a head and shoulders. You know, we covered that Peter Brand had, had called for a, 
a 60 to 90 percent sell-off that we didn't think was very likely you can see essentially the same thing playing out here and you know it's just testament that that guy was wrong uh, no, no disrespect to him at all he's obviously a bit of a veteran in the in the trading space um but crypto is is so different to the uh, kind of traditional world that it doesn't really apply so you can see look look how similar these are guys and this is what's coming and the reason i'm showing you this is to show you what to expect expect this kind of choppy action um for a while certainly through august um towards the end of august i think we're going to start to really move in the right direction so expect some choppiness uh, we'd previously sort of highlighted that and that's what's to come due to all these kind of uh, resistance levels that you have in front of you you can see cardano is sort of moving up towards uh, a, a resistance level that's really kind of formed a bit of a double top and um, we'd like to go through this now we don't want to keep coming up and hitting our head but this is what's coming guys it really is it's accumulate accumulate uh you know i'm like a dalek for those of you in the uk you'll know of the popular tv program doctor who instead of exterminate exterminate accumulate accumulate i am more than happy for the price to move sideways because i know what's inevitably coming if the price continues to move sideways even sell off a bit which i don't think it's going to do i think we're going to take ground from here with with moderate pullbacks along the way um, it just gives me a fantastic time to continue to accumulate, not just Cardano, but across the board. Uh, and ultimately, you know, you've still got a little bit of grind along this uh, EMA before we see the, the fifth and final uh, wave, perhaps of this bull run really kick in. That's if we don't go into a super cycle. There's plenty of theories out there, um, which we are going to cover at some point on this channel when we get the time. Bitcoin's really leading the charge. Bitcoin looks good. Um, in fact, Bitcoin looks great. Uh, it's coming back up. It's showing real strength. Um, it's, you know... People are kind of anticipating a, a rollover, um, sort of like we've previously had. This was, to me, uh, a clear and defined breakout. And you are now, uh, you've made a higher high. Um, my, my feeling is you're going to make a higher low. Um, and this is going to continue on in the way that we've kind of set out for it. Um, so in regards to the SEC, the, the boss they refer him to and the chairman, um, Gary Gensler essentially has came out and he's given a number of statements said he, you know Satoshi's vision was real um, he's given quite a lot of bullish and perhaps bearish for some cryptos out there um, indications of what the SEC is going to do next and, and regulations are coming we can't exist certainly in countries like the US and the UK and other uh, places like that without having regulatory, regulatory clarity because there's always going to be a bit of a grey area we know regulations were coming due to how Binance were getting squeezed, FTX were getting squeezed. So many exchanges out there were having pressure put on them and threats made against them by these governing bodies. Um, so it's absolutely coming. And so I'll read to you some of his remarks um, and then we're going to talk about the Japan news, why this is significant in regards to, to what Gary Gensler said. So the SEC boss Gary Gensler's uh, eye, eyeing robust regulations of crypto market report. Gary Gensler did not comment on the potential approval of a crypto exchange fund, an ETF. This is coming. You know, we still don't have an ETF. It really frustrates me that they're dragging their feet with this, especially as they've already come out and said Bitcoin and Ethereum are not securities, they're utility tokens. So the head of the U.S. Uh, Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, Gary Gensler, said he is weighing a robust uh, regulatory regime for the crypto market. Gensler said in an interview with Bloomberg Tuesday that his interest in crypto does not mean he will take a hands-off regulatory approach for which many in the space were hoping. While I'm neutral on the technology, even intrigued, I spend I spent three years teaching it, leaning into it. I am not neutral about investor protection, Gary Gensler said. That's what the SEC supposedly is here to do, to protect consumers. Um, they do do that. There is an element of that. I'm not going to say there's not. Um, but what they really do is is ensure that the U.S. government um, get a slice of the pie more than anything. Um, so he did not give a timeline on the introduction of the SEC's action on cryptocurrencies, citing 49 non-crypto policy reviews, such as the responding to GameStop trading friendly that could slow down any progress on crypto. So he's saying he's busy and he's got a lot to work about. Meanwhile, we're all here anticipating this, waiting in angst. This is how they move, guys. They move at their own pace. Um, they don't want to rush into anything. It is, it is a very big decision, I'm sure, from their point of view. Uh, nor did Gensler comment on the potential approval of a crypto exchange, exchange traded fund. 
Uh, despite the long list of applications the regulation regulator has received. So they've got literally applications for an ETF from everyone, Grayscale, JP Morgan, Morgan Stanley, you name it, um, they are you know applying and, and, and hoping that the SEC is gonna approve one of these. They've got some big, big players in the space, guys. My prediction is they are gonna approve one, they're just gonna drag their feet. Gensler has previously spoke of the need for the SEC to regulate cryptocurrency exchanges and has now said this would be the easiest way to uh, monitor digital token trading, which is turning, which, which in turn uh, could bring into play peer-to-peer -peer lending on decentralized financial platforms. Bullish thing, you know, there's a lot of bullish and perhaps bearish um, things that come along with reg regulations um, and i think overall they're a bullish thing for the crypto space even though the kind of libertarians among us and um you know the, you don't really want it so the sec could then regulate such platforms if they are uh, advertising an interest rate return on a crypto asset alternatively platforms that pool digital assets could be uh, regarded as mutual funds which would also bring them into the sec's purview both Cardano, which promises you an interest rate, and uh, you actually pull together, the actual staking pools would come under the SEC's fire in some way or other. Um, it's it's gonna happen, but the good thing is, like I say, Cardano work very, very closely with regulators, uh, so this is something they really have on their side. Gensler's appointment uh, as the SEC chairman was met with a positive reaction from a large uh, swath of, of the crypto community, given the uh, consensus that he understood cryptocurrencies in a way that few others in his field do. This is absolutely true. I've listened to, actually quite like the guy, believe it or not, even though he is chairman of the SEC, because he he, he knows what he's on about in regards um, to certainly the, it's a lot of individual cryptos out there and the functions of them and how they work. So it's overall a bullish thing. So that's really what we're expecting, guys. I just thought that was an interesting thing to me. The Japan News, um, Cardano Ada is finally getting listed in Japan. Earlier today, Sebastian Gullimont, uh, CTO of DC Spark, um, as well as the former COV of Engine, uh, Cardano PM, and Emergo ADA has finally been approved for listing on a Jap Japanese crypto exchange and explains why this is a big deal. It's not easy for cryptocurrency assets to gain regulatory approval for the uh, proposed of getting listed on a crypto exchange. So this is a sign that, you know, Japan, a very strict regulator, are happy to, to onboard Cardano. Are the SEC gonna follow suit? Perhaps this is a point in that consensus. So that's really all I have for you in this video, guys. Um, I just wanted to kind of give you an update. It's much and such the same in regards to the price. You know, I think you're gonna follow this. You're gonna take ground and, ground and ultimately trend upwards before the volume returns. You can see your volume is still pathetic, um, much the same as, as, as how you kind of finish and topped out uh, your two wave a spike is coming uh, this is going to get everyone excited and kind of kick the ball off rolling for that uh, overextending of the ema and the, the, the kind of fomo to ensue so all i have for you in this video guys i'm going to love and leave you on that note hopefully you found this entertaining and useful if you have a like it's always appreciated so as a comment and i look forward to hopefully seeing you all in the next youtube video thanks a lot for watching guys